Matt Jesus on a Pilgrimage, Still Walking. I'm Andy Doyle, the Bishop of Texas, and that's my six-word autobiography. My hope for this podcast is to walk with you and talk with you about God, the church, and where we're headed next. Heavenly Father, I humbly beseech you to see before you a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, and a sinner of your own redeeming. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. It is good to be with you this morning. I've been thinking about our visit and our time together all week. Uh, I began, of course, uh, as I read over the scriptures, which is typically what I do on Monday, and then Tuesday begin to think about what should I say and ask and think about, uh, especially as I'm coming to be with you. And so the, the first thing I wanted to, I was curious about, and uh, don't worry, it's not a question to answer kind of sermon, but just to get us going, I wondered for each of you how your week was. I wondered... I wondered if it was a good week or if it was a hurried week. Were there some victories this week? Maybe some things that went really well. Sometimes those get balanced out by the things that don't go so well, right? And maybe it was a a week where you wish you had not been so lonely or one where you were up in your head all week. Maybe it was a week where you didn't feel particularly good about yourself. Oh, one where you were feeling pretty you know, like, hey, I'm going to make it. We've been through a lot over the last couple of years, all isolated in our little communities, but as a whole in the diocese, it is true. And each one of us, on any given day, has our ups, our downs, our wins, our losses, and those internal stories we tell ourselves about life and who I am and who God is. And then we come in here, right? Come in on Sunday. And we hope maybe we'll get a good word. Help with some of that. And what I'll I'll tell you is this. And it was very clear. I love you. I love you. It's like, actually one of those things. I thought, I'm going to Woodville. I've been in Woodville a lot. I love Woodville. Woodville's going to be, as I look at this week, this is a high point of my week, I'm just going to tell you, right? To be with people who are faithful, who are making a, a way out here in Woodville, Texas, faithful to church, faithful in their ministry and their lives together, supporting each other. That is a great thing for me. And what I was clear about is that I love you. And I love what you do here. We may not even know each other that well, but that's Okay. Because this is what I know. Each one of you, no matter what story you tell yourselves, no matter the narrative that you carry around in your head up here about how you make your way in the world, good, negative, whatever it is, each one of you is worthy of belonging. Each one of you is worthy of being loved. Even if this is the only place every week where you are reminded of that fact. And it's okay, I think it's one of those things we talk a lot about. Our presiding bishop talks a lot about love. But I realize this week we don't say it very often to each other because it makes us feel nervous. And I decided today I would say that. Because sometimes people say, how do we know that God loves us? Well, the truth is, it takes other people telling us that we're loved. That's why I began that way. I love you. 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 (laughs) And that's how you know God loves you. Because there's no reason, right? It's just free grace, as it says in the scripture. It's just blessing. Just to be loved. Our society's done all kind of weird stuff with it, right? So we, we carry a whole lot of business in our heads about love. My dad didn't say that he loved me because he grew up in a particular generation where that wasn't something you said. It took me a long time to figure that out. I kept a lot, kept a lot of burden about that. But then I realized if 
I told my dad I loved him, he'd say, I love you back. And so in my 30s, I started to tell my dad I loved him. I didn't wait for my dad to tell me. And sure enough, he said, I love you. He never once, until I was much, much older, said that he was proud of me. But I don't think he could have said that if I hadn't started saying, saying to him, I love you, so that he could open up a little bit. Times are tough. <laughs> Uh, there's division, there's family division, our families are divided. This is, this is a tough time. But until we really start just speaking it out loud and saying, starting with that love, I love you, okay, now what are we going to do about whatever's in front of us? And genuinely mean it, genuinely allow it to lead us, allow love to be the first thing that we say and experience, things aren't going to get better. In fact, they'll get worse. We start with a lot of other stuff. So we just have to begin quite simply by saying, I love you. Now you're thinking, now y'all think you read the scripture because that was the Sermon on the Plain. But don't you see, that's the whole story. From the time that God called Abraham and Sarah out to the time of the Sermon on the Plain or the Sermon on the Mount, depending on which scripture you're going to read. God keeps inviting us to bless other people with peace and love. Multiply the blessings I give you, God says. So you see, when he, when he starts blessing people in this, this story today from the gospel, this true story, and it, it's, a, it's about the very basic piece of what it means to be a human and, and to live a human life together. It's about multiplying blessings and love in this world. And if you don't see it, then you're going to be burdened by a lot of other stuff. So that's what I got for you. Happy Sunday. You're loved. You are loved. No matter what happened this week, you are loved and we're about to ask for forgiveness. But what's interesting is you're already forgiven before you ask. We're only asking to remind ourselves that God doesn't have to do it, but has already done it. So receive it as grace. Receive the Eucharist as grace. And know that everything that happens this morning is about how much God loves you. And how much I love you. We love you too. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. Join me in conversation on Twitter at Texas Bishop and spread the word about this podcast by leaving a review on iTunes. Thank you.